<laughs> What's the change order in the asphalt? I emailed it to you just a little while ago. I had just got it. I didn't know it was on the agenda today. Is that this one out here? Yes. I didn't read it. The one you, the one yeah. we got, yeah. We just, I don't know if you want to still ask about the grindings. Yeah, we're on. Within seconds okay, of the show, my parking lot. <laughs> Officially being 10 o'clock every day. We'll call this meeting of the Seneca County Board of Commissioners for July 31st to order. Please turn to the flag. Pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lord, thank you again for this day that you've given us. We ask for your guidance and direction today once again. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. We'll have the signing of the journal, and I'll accept a motion to approve the DVD recording from the board session we had on Tuesday evening, July 29th, and the index of that meeting. I move. Seconded. I moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Approved. Thank you. Any adjustments to the printed agenda? Anything that need to be added? Do roll call? Oh, <laughs> would you like to do roll call? <laughs> Let's do roll call. What the heck? <laughs> Commissioner Stacy. Here. Commissioner Zoller. Here. Commissioner Whitner. Yes, here. I'm just on a roll. <laughs> um, any adjustments to the agenda? I just had a couple questions about the, the airport meeting, if that was set up, and about next week's attic affair ribbon cutting, if we were going to attend that or not. Okay. Do you have yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that have brought to our attention, my attention about the record keeping and, and storage and and all of those those issues. I think that we just all need to be aware of it. Mm -hmm. And we put that under the additional new business on the agenda. Is that what the old TB hospital mm -hmm. is also slash record keeping? TB hospital. TB. <laughs> Tuberculosis hospital. I thought that's what that was. County Home Day. That's what it really? was. Really? We need to come up with a new name for that. Yeah. How about old how about Where's, old record storage? <laughs> Where's that at? You know where <laughs> at this building that you're gonna complain yeah. about? <laughs> you know where the county home is. There's a brick building right to the north of it, in between the sheriff's department and the county home where we're at. That's the old T V That's where we store records yes. at. It used to be where in um uh, educational service center, center used to be, yeah. Then the Board of Health used to be out there too? They one, used to be in my office. office. Your office, okay. Anything else historically you'd like to know about Center? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be more than happy to help you with. Well, let's go Maybe back with our. Here. Well, I was excited because I saw an award of appreciation. I thought I was getting an award, but then I went on and I was like, well, <laughs> I'm going to it. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm speechless. I know, I know. Usually that's what I do to people, so. <laughs> All right. Um, is Tina on this agenda somewhere? Yeah. Should we just put her on? <laughs> she's one of these, right? I think she's just on at 10. So. <laughs> so you're on at 10. I'm whenever. We'll just let her go. Do you want to go first? <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to go first so that? Sure. 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> so, um, what you have, you, uh, you should have a copy because I, I think this? yes, exactly. What it is, that's the. Um, I sent this to Derek, and Derek was okay with it. But, um, oh, what's highlighted there? in yeah. yellow is the actual wording as it appears currently on the, the existing lease for the airport farm that you guys have um, with, with just a slight few modifications to the language. And then the, the remaining are the additions that we are suggesting that you add to the lease um, from the standpoint of protecting the value of the farm as far as the soil health and, and making it an equitable <coughs> uh, farm. We also added a couple ones to, um, for a liability standpoint as well. So if you look at it, um, I'm coming up here with you because I, mine's on my computer and it's locked up. So, so um, we're asking them to follow the NRCS and FSA guidelines to make sure that the farm is eligible for future farm programs 
in, in the future to, to maintaining it, making sure that if there's any HEL ground, and this is actually general language so that we can incorporate into the additional leases that you guys have for, for the, the rest of the farm ground. So, um, so making sure that it's a, um, eligible for federal farm bill programs for future applic um, um, leasers. Um, leaving a 10 foot right away on the veg on the the water courses and the veg um, we actually have a ditch maintenance ditch on the one the ira davidson out there at the airport so there needs to be at least a minimum of a 10 foot vegetative cover left uh, along the water course and then we also have um, um the ditch issues with the other property as well so um it, is that currently happening do you know is there a 10 foot buffer there I believe there is, okay. but just that doesn't always mean that it's always going to be there. So it's just making sure that we are covered in the future. I mean, this is hopefully will cover us in issues with any future issues. So um, there are no currently are any waterways on the, the existing one at the at the airport. Um, the other um, the farm there, the, the county home, we need to look at. There are some erosion concerns that we need to look at and address. So, um, so that's why that's in there, making sure that the, the waterways are removed, that they, they reinstall them because that does, unfortunately does happen with spraying or, you know, getting too close to them sometimes with the disc or chisel. So, um, to implement, um, to basically pre um, prevent soil erosion by implementing conservation practices. So that means in, in, in the instances of an HEL, you know, if it's HEL ground or anything of the sort that they need to make sure that they're not um, they're not creating any more concern for erosion. So, um, a minimum, we like to see them keep a minimum of at least a corn and soybean rotation and not make it corn to corn to corn to corn to corn or beans, 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 keeping that rotation in because of the soil health, because of treating the soil, keeping that ground productive. And again, this is making sure this ground is productive as a piece of ground that the commissioners are, are making a profit, you know, are, are making an income off of. So making sure that that grounds, we're not asking for a corn beans wheat rotation, but we are at least asking for a slight crop rotation. And then we are encouraging additional crop rotation by adding maybe a wheat practice into it or another, or adding cover crops or anything of that sort. So um, following the tri-state fertility guide, again, that's, you know, that's important that they are utilizing and making sure that they are following, not over applying um, fertilizers. And then we also are going to look at developing a nutrient management plan to make sure that they are not drawing down the nutrients as well, making sure that that soil is, is maintained according to the existing standards or if not better. So um, making sure that, that that ground is being taken care of. And that's going to be important that, you know, we, we saw that problem with the farm that we own where they just drawed down the nutrient levels. And now we are having a huge issue trying to get those nutrient levels back up. So um, it's, it's important to maintain the nutrient levels accordingly. Mm -hmm. um, again, if they do decide to, fig to spread manure on these, on these fields, making sure that they're figuring those, the nutrient values of, those, of the manure and any cover crops they, they apply to the nutrient um, calculations for, um, for um, commercial herbicides or fertilizers. Mm -hmm. um, application of manure, if they do decide to do that as well, um, in addition to make sure that they're following all the standards that we can set up through a nutrient management plan and also not spreading during frozen snow covered ground. And then not to graze livestock or establish if we lot of any kind on the premises. And that's more of a liability for you guys. You really don't want it because they can come in and set up temporary fencing to graze livestock on corn stalks if need. And we've seen sometimes in those instances where guys are needing additional feedstuffs for, for cattle where they'll they'll basically rent a cornfield and set up temporary fencing so that will actually establish a give you a keep some liability from you as well so and so just the highlighted part is where the changes are no the highlighted are the existing language that currently is in your the highlighted is what exi is currently existing so in the your rest lease. Of this is all new seven through 15 is new Oh, okay. Yeah, so did I. Just sorry. Highlight existing land was no, okay. sorry. Sorry. Um, Seven through 15 is new. Number six. Yeah. So can they do that for their own? I mean, if they wanted to bale corn stalks or beans stubble, 
they could do that for their own use. They just couldn't do it to sell it? No, they need to talk to you about it first because you're, again, if you're baling corn socks, you're taking residue, you're taking off the possibility of organic material. So it's something that th that's already existing in your lease as it stands. Okay. That's something they would just need to make sure that you guys are, are okay with. And, you know, baling corn socks isn't a, a huge deal. Bean stubble, I would not recommend it. Don't do that unless they're kind of desperate if we've had a dry year. Correct, or exactly. Strange, but right? that's all, I, that's against stuff that they, they need to run through you first. Okay. So, but that's already existing. That's not, okay. that's not anything new. Okay. On number 12, the uh, fertility guide sampling nutrient management plan set up by you folks and a commercial fertilizer dealer, they have to do it in conjunction with both. And or, I mean, yeah, exactly. Well, it definitely keep us in the loop of it. Okay. Um, it's, we're going to develop a nutrient management plan. We uh -huh. had talked about that, uh -huh. doing some soil sampling, developing a nutrient management plan, and so that they could, if it's been developed, and they can work with our commercial fertilizer mm -hmm. dealer to implement that. Are you figuring on doing the samples, or does the farmer doing the samples? Well, we'd like to get the the sample, the the most recent soil samples that are available for the farm, okay. and see when those are first okay. and foremost, and then go Hopefully from there. Decide. Okay. And then right now we're just talking about the airport. We're not talking about the, the big farm this year because it's not up. Okay. And then the other thing is, and it's not included, but would be highly suggested is that as they do the soil sampling, those soil samples are submitted to us so that we have a standing history of what, mm -hmm. history on the soil samples. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. So, and I submit them to Derek. Um, Derek came back yesterday and he didn't, have any heartburn over them as long as you guys didn't have any heartburns. Again, looking at it from the soil health standpoint, I think it's important that you guys make sure that your property that you own is being taken care of as landowners. And that's the that's where we're coming from as landowners, making sure that that property is still profitable um, and making sure that it's being maintained according to the standards that it is when you, the property transfers to the new renter and if not building it we need to look at building that soil health too so okay. so Do you have any questions thank you ma'am you're welcome so did you guys see the, our display i prepared were you guys out there did you the see ladders? the article in the yes. paper about the our new name change and our website is up and going so please go online and click on it and get some of our e-newsletters we're going to start doing it's not completely functioning as fully as we'd like for it to be because we just now got it launched but um, had pretty good success at the fair the website is up the new we're on Twitter Facebook Instagram so we are actually getting a following so this is a way to I know Twitter <laughs> um, <laughs> we are um, trying to get more of a public presence making sure that the not just the urban or the rural landowners understand agricultural landowners know what we do for them but understanding there's a lot of things that we do for the urban and rural urban homeowners that services are available or information available for them so what when was the article in the paper monday tuesday days, last week tuesday last week if you check out our facebook page fair week i didn't do a good job of getting my papers yeah. read <laughs> so, didn't happen. i think it was tuesday a fair week okay i like the display but that so, nice yeah. letters those were cool yeah so we'll get there we're trying so hopefully this will help us in any event that we need to promote con uh, do a con uh, we um, changed the website to conserve seneca county so we are actually using that as a tagline um for any future campaigns that we do as far as with soil health and things like that so kind of throwing it all underneath an umbrella so all part of that grant that we got so we're good we're in that last page stages of it so Okay. Good. Good. All right. Anything else you need from us? Stop and talk to Tanya before you leave. I heard that one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure she won't let me out the door. So. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for your support. Yeah. Okay. We had. Let's start with the old business. That'd be a good place to start. The chain order asphalt project. Uh, there's a a couple things. I just got this from Tanya this morning. Um, as we're all well aware, there was uh, issues with our parking lot, um, not just the gas tank. They had found some cistern, which we didn't have to have any testing done for cisterns. There were two cisterns out there and some apparently some concrete steps. 
So additional work had to be done, and um, the impression I had that the change orders were not going to be uh, as large as they were. I sent it to you this morning. I haven't had a chance to look at it, but they're talking about a little over $30,000 for the change orders for our parking lot. And that's, Due that's to all the of this was Erie? Erie, the, yes. So it does, does that include the uh, remediation of the fuel that, tanks? Yeah. And, yeah. So what, the, what it is is the environmental issues that got billed to Erie and then Erie's billing us. Yeah. So it's not that we got yeah. Erie's bill. There was a few plus stone I said, I said this is a $20,000, deal. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. And that's what it ended up being. Pretty a little much. higher than what I what thought. Ended but. Up. <laughs> I would, I guess, ten. I didn't think it would be that. Much. Yeah, ten. I think was a loan just the. Yeah, I could tell. With the, yeah. I don't have any choice with that. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It is. So, um, just Next wanted to give you those numbers, call. and Tanya will put the uh, appropriations. She's got some appropriations in place for this, okay. um, but so we were doing most of this out of the recycled content, so some of it's a different line. So we're gonna have to put some money in it. Yeah, because that'll be all of our recycled. So content. I, I didn't. So, yeah. Okay. I didn't get that. So, so part of this remediation, this extra cost here, yeah. can be run through recyclable. So it's not no. Well, yes. just the the pavement project was going to be, but there won't be enough money in the recycled line. Yeah, to cover. And we didn't figure that was appropriate line to take out of. We recycled that old gas. Didn't we? <laughs> yeah. we recycled it into a barrel. We recycled I don't know what the they steps. did with it. We smashed them in, and they yes. were part of the fill after they were spent. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, it just it wouldn't be enough to. So, so that's it's going to hit the general fund. May not be the whole thirty, but yeah, right. But a portion of it's going to hit general fund. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We're we'll going to get as much as we can out of the recycled. So, um, yeah. The other, I think we're going to try to use um, the insurance. We have money in place for insurance or unforeseen incidents mm -hmm. that is not covered under our insurance, but we do have a purchase order open for instances like this set aside for. Issues usually we pay for like the um, the, the deposit, not the deposit, the deductible okay. off that line. So I think we're going to try to use that one. I think they're okay with us using that one. Okay. Even though it wasn't covered by the insurance, but that's a line uh -huh. we use for those those incidentals. Okay. So she'll get those for Tuesday. And the other thing that they brought up to me this morning. Remember the the the. The grindings that they had taken mm -hmm. out to the mm -hmm. uh, farm, they had, the impression Tanya got originally was they were just going to leave them for us so they wouldn't have to haul them. And then they came back and said, no, we need $7 a ton for them. Yeah. And we were like, absolutely not. Uh -huh. Well, uh, it was a couple weeks ago before they started this, they said, um, they wanted a final answer and I said, no, we just can't do it. We can't do it for that much. We didn't uh -huh. plan on plan on that we don't want to what do was it seven dollars a ton to haul it out there no to keep it to keep it and use it like to spread out we talked about spreading it out through that driveway back to the um cemetery, cemetery. who's charging us seven dollars a ton i'm confused they, right? they they don't just leave them for you right if we want them we can pay seven dollars a ton for them but they they, they ask us just, if that was a place they could dump them to speed up the process versus a haul back all the way to sandusky yeah. but now i think so they said yeah they could dump them but we didn't. We didn't want to buy them. If they were free, we'd take them. Because it's seven hundred. They would charge us for them. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're getting yes. at? Yep, that's what we're getting at. <laughs> and it was for seven hundred. Let them take it. Yeah. Well, and that's what we told them. We told them to go ahead and take it. Well, they came back with, how about three dollars a ton? And there's there's well, got to be there's got to be a thousand ton out there. Seven hundred ton. So at three dollars, it'd be twenty one hundred dollars. Plus, we'd still have to figure out how to. Move how, it. To spread it. how to spread it um, I can off offer lower or if you just want to let it go can we offer just for a couple truckloads <laughs> and not a whole of it is it an all or none deal they keep coming down every time I say no so I, 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 I <laughs> keep Mark, saying no <laughs> we'll figure the rest out later just keep saying no <laughs> does Mark have any use of that I mean is there anything that can be you like other than the the road for the cemetery there but yeah I mean, is mark there, mark will pay for it he don't want it he no gets, no no i don't need he to gets pay for it you know, know i don't want to create this huge junk pile out there that we're never going to use well, he, he said that would 
That would do the driveway. He said it oh, would. Oh, it would do the driveway. They could probably use it at the fairgrounds for some of those paths. And I mean, it's good for that. Okay, so there is a use for this stuff. I just know about how that much. I have no idea, quantity yeah. wise, if that's. I mean, even, you know, at a fair price, use them yeah. if, if they can come get it and, yeah. I haven't seen the pile lately, but it's you could spread that. It's huge. You it's could, a mountain. It, it, you could it's spread huge. that pretty thick on yeah. that driveway. I mean, you could spread it. I mean, it's, it's all back pulverized down, down in the almost stone, little stone mm -hmm. level. So, I mean, I would think it'd be a good base. Yeah. That, sure. Like and once it heats up, it'll kind of bond back together once it's That's spread out. Right. So, yeah. I mean, even fill, I mean, I would think that places that, so like when we put an addition up, they haul yep. thousands of ton in. That's cheaper than yeah. Because um, it, that I had uh, I asked Dave out to the engineer's office, and he says, well, he doesn't buy those things. I said, well, compare it to stone because I, you know, and he said, no, that's about that would be good because this would be better than the stone if we would just put stone down. This would okay. compact better, and if they're even the seven dollars, he said, wouldn't have been bad. But okay. Tanya just told me this morning. They they're said down to three. They're down to three. Why don't we offer them two? Oh, yeah. yeah, I got a little bit of that. That in me too. I don't, I don't want to say it, but I got a little bit of that in me too. One and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'll tell you, it's worth more than that. If it can be, if it, it can be used as a base yeah. mm -hmm. for roadways or or. I don't think it's fair to do it if they spread ours for us if we let them take what they wanted. What, what Mark, he won't spread it. He no. Wants, he won't he want to do that. Okay. Mark won't want to spread it. If, I don't know if anybody with the fair board would want to take it and use some out there and if they yeah, start laying for us yeah. and then they take what they need. Do you think the Obviously. farmer out there would have any equipment to? Who? Chris. You, Chris? you really need a dump truck okay. with a, okay. with a uh, uh, what do you call it? A tailgate. Tailgate. Yeah, tailgate it. They could probably spread it with the tractor. We got a tractor with yeah. a block, and they could probably to take them forever. It'd take them forever, yeah. You really need a, really need a. I wonder if Mac truck trucking would just come in and. Because would they? They'd have to load it. And, they have to load it. Yeah. Can our little loader get over that? I don't get know. A, dump it in a dump truck for them. I think it would. Okay, Mac might come out and just sit there and let us fill him up, and then go down and dump it. I don't know. What are you talking about for the Mac. load for the? To get it spread for the cemetery. The cemetery. If we load him up with our tractor, and then he just spread a load, then we load him up again and till till it's yeah, and just a couple hours. And he, I mean, you tailgate that thing, and I mean, it'd be. I don't see what Mark can't. Mark come over with this big tractor, and he could. Um, well, I'll offer it. See if he'll. Right. Take it. Tell me what to experiment with, and if it works well, then we'll pay him a dollar a ton. Yeah, you know, I, was think, <laughs> I was thinking at the time when they were doing it, but I didn't think that's enough. They could have just as well tailgated that down the right. lane. And we were going to take it at first. That's when the impression was they were they just. They said, yeah, they, do you want it? Do you want it? And then we were like, well, yeah, we'll take it. And then they were like, oh, okay, it's $7 a ton. It's like, oh, wait, no. Uh uh. <laughs> but we told but them I think now they start piling it. It's going to, I think then, it's getting going to cost them money to have to come and get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I could. I could assure you, they'd rather they would go a dollar a ton. Yeah. Versus them Use the fuel hauling and trucking it out of there. Yeah. That's that, right. that is not a. Yeah. Why don't we just give Mrs. Wilson the, the opportunity to dicker with them? She can yeah. Ask yeah. Yeah. It. Have fun. I like Barter. that word dicker okay. better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Hi. Airport. I uh, just wondered if we, uh, last time I talked, Nikki was trying to set up the meeting. What if she'd hurry them back from Japan? No, I sent Pat a very nice email this morning. I said if I don't hear back from him today, I will set the date myself and okay. we'll go with that. Okay. Because I've tried calling Tuesday and Wednesday and still have not received a call back. Okay. And I did tell Brad yesterday, I said, you know, we want those dates. And I said, I know she's been trying to be in communications with Pat and he didn't offer anything one way or the other if he knew anything on it, but I just I did let him know that we wanted those ASAP. And, and at that meeting we want the FAA yep. and we want a copy of the plans That's or a couple, right. something the people can look at. And, mm -hmm. and, and I think that we need to have pictures of the type of aircraft that Mr. Newman is planning on bringing in because 
the type of aircraft is relevant to the amount of space you need. And you can tell me it's an A360, and that doesn't mean anything to me. If I see the picture of something, then I could say, oh, okay, I could see how corporate America would come in, and so we want to have this ability to come into Seneca County Airport for that. So I think having an understanding of that from a picture standpoint yeah. will help ease everyone's mind because it's not a 747. I mean, right. we're trying to bring in here. Before you actually set the date, you might make sure we're all free that day. I will. That I'll day. just check with you guys in the FAA and then okay. we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. Attic affair. Well, uh, last year we went to the room and cutting. I don't know if we want to do that again or not, but it's 9 o'clock next Tuesday, so we'd have to rearrange our schedule if we did. I don't care if we do or not, just so we're on the same page. I would like to. I think it's, yeah. it shows uh, <laughs> unity when we get over to the stretch of the, the far outreach of the county. And okay. I, I think it's a good idea, but okay. could we just move the, our meeting back an, an hour. hour? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. We've got work session that day, if you want to, or we can do away with that, whatever. Just forego work, do we have any schedule for the work session? I don't think so, but I'll look. Not that I'll count written on here. I would recommend we just move it to 11 o'clock. And, okay. And work sessions, I mean, it's, there's no kind of an informal session. thing but okay we'd still be done in time if you wanted to do the yoga wellness thing then at 12 15. <laughs> <laughs> i am thinking about that's taking funny. yoga did yeah, i tell you that at 12 15. <laughs> <laughs> just making yeah. sure don't yeah, worry i tight, just thought i could right. see you doing the yoga thing you just seem like the kind of guy that's like yoga <laughs> they said you I have to stand on one leg though my I was talking to my wife about it last night yeah don't wear tight. I thought yoga is you sat down. You want? That's like meditating. You're giving us a bad image. Yoga is a whole bunch of different stuff. We'll discuss it. So, anyways, the ribbon cutting of the fair. The ribbon cutting of the fair, yes. <laughs> Nine o'clock, we we're going. Do we want to meet here and drive over together? Last year we had a big mix up and we had like three well, vehicles. Like, yeah, there. and we had, didn't we go on to the ditch thing then from there too? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, yes, so we don't have to do because we yeah. have to back. I'll just meet no you guys over there. I just okay. sometimes Tuesday, I don't know what I'm right? doing. Okay. No work okay. session Tuesday. We'll move the meeting to 11. 11. And if we leave here at 8.30? Sounds good. Okay. Those who want to ride together be here 8.30. Okay. Leaving 8.31. <laughs> okay. So that one. Nothing else for old business? Not for me. Okay. New business. Um, let's let's run through this stuff first and then we'll hit the record keeping stuff. I got a couple questions, but we're ready. You mean to do new business? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got bill voucher seventy eight and seventy nine. I have a resolution authorizing an appropriation adjustment within the Capital Projects Fund 215, moving $33,150 from contingencies to the CSB. This is for the boil that we talked about at the last board session. I have a resolution authorizing an appropriation adjustment for the Public Assistance Fund 030, moving $32 from other expense to salaries and $4.50 from other expense to PRS, total $36.50. I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the Delinquent Care and Custody Grant Fund, 162, putting $754.14 into PERS. And I have a resolution authorizing agreement with Klaus Professionals for repairs to the RTA building. Again, just a reminder on that clause professional room, we need to put a clause in there that they are not held liable. They're doing it to the best of their ability to take care of the mold and water infiltration. I just, yeah. I, don't, I don't want. I believe they wrote the contract. They wrote this one, yeah. They, that's in there? They, okay. they wrote it. Okay. Okay. They wrote okay. the whole contract, so yeah. it's not in there. It's okay. that's there. Yeah. I, mean, they, I know they will do it as best as they can, sure, but it's sure. a difficult situation at, at best to uh -huh. try to determine where the water is coming in from. Mm -hmm. Alright. Motion? I move. Seconded. Motion and second. Any additional comments, concerns, questions on any of the new business items under resolutions? 
Okay, roll call please. Commissioner Wagner? Yes. Commissioner Zoller? Yes. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. All approved. We've got the record creeping up, but did you have a question on something else? Well, uh, just to come, I, I had a call as a group is trying to meet with me, and I know the previous commissioners have discussed it, and I don't know anything about it, this wind energy. There are it, four different wind companies that own right away or have, have talked about putting wind farms in Seneca County. It sounds like this Apex has bought one of them out and they yeah. want to meet with us to discuss it. Um, sounds like they're trying to meet with us individually. Is that what it, I didn't that's know if it, it was just like. me I, or, because I, all I do is the email they just sent me, but. That's the same thing, I got one sent did me. Okay. I didn't realize, and I saw on the calendar, you had, yeah. I didn't know that they, I thought it was just to me too, I didn't know who else. What's the pros like and cons? I, I don't know anything about it. Well, that's why they want to meet with us. They'll bring us up to speed about it, I guess. There are four different ones that, that were really hot to go a year ago or two years ago two in Seneca ago. County, and I think maybe some of the incentives fell off or something because they're not so hot anymore. But there are some that are actively paying lease payments in the county to, to landowners. So um, my if, if they ever went through, they'd build right, actual wind well, towers and connect them together with an underground cable. The one at Republic, they were they yeah. were they were going to build last year, and I don't know. Yeah, something happened. They well, they had a hearing, and that so, was like in the fall of yeah, 12. yeah. They had an mm -hmm. open house yeah. at the end of the year. That how is the commissioners interact with that? I mean, do we have to give approval for it, or we actually passed a what did they call that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tax abatement of sorts. Yeah. Uh, what the name of that it, is too. It basically abated. We didn't do it. Previous board did. Yeah. yeah. It basically abated the state taxes, though. It abated real property tax, abated the state tax, and in lieu of that, they gave payment up, yeah, to the front. county, the schools, the townships. Yeah, per on a per kilowatt hour. Yeah. So if 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 it actually goes in, we would receive payments from that as well as the schools and the townships. The negative side, I would assume, is just. It affected the landscape or the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's not a it's not like the pipeline where they have eminent domain they have to actually negotiate with the landowner and the landowner has to say yeah go ahead and put one on my property they can't force them to do it like the pipeline can okay. so yeah I look at just informational what they want to yeah. so I thought it was just me they were asking for and I'm saying boy if they're just asking me they're asking the yeah. Somebody that doesn't know anything about it. So, <coughs> I, to, I knew that the previous commissioners looked at it. And I think it was, was it hotly debated at the time? Was is, was there objection from the landowners? or? I think there's a few landowners that object, but they don't have to sign up their property if they don't want to. Okay. So it's strictly it's discretionary and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They pay, uh, a, a windmill on your property would pay around 10 grand if you land one a year. So it's, from our standpoint, it would just strictly, from a tax standpoint, if we would have, mm -hmm. so has that been approved? Have we? That's been approved. We became an alternate energy, energy zone, zone or yeah. something like yeah. that. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's more, as you said, Commissioner Stacy, more of an informative That's thing. what I gathered from his, his email. Okay, and okay. The next thing is, is I've, I've got a couple calls, this proposed pipeline in Eden Township, and um, somebody was they were calling asked me about it of course I knew about the I think it's Sunoco pipeline or whatever and I didn't know <coughs> anything about the other is it ET Rover yeah yeah, yeah I think and, and at this point nobody is I don't recall anybody talking with us about that mm -hmm. they, just, they, need to they talk? just sent us some information yeah they had an open house at Camden Falls two three weeks ago and invited all the landowners I don't know why they didn't let the commissioners know ahead of time yeah. but I got one since I was a landowner in that area. Um, it's a FERC project, Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. So they're the ones that'll say yes or no. That'll come out of Washington, D.C. Right now they're doing the environmental archaeological review to determine if this route actually works. If that works, then they'll start trying to purchase easement. So if the landowners that didn't go to that meeting at Camden and they've got some questions, I thought I heard somebody say that the Farm Bureau, they could go to the Farm Bureau. Yeah, I think they had yeah. a they had a phone number on that uh, packet that on that got. packet. I yeah. think we got so you could refer them to that phone number. 
Did we okay, or they could go to the farm. Yeah, the farm bureau's kind of one, one here. Is versed in this whole thing, and I would they, guess so. I don't know. Yeah, that. the okay. state farm bureau has a Dwayne Arnold is the name. I couldn't think of the other day when I was telling you that. Um, who I know has worked with landowners on lease agreements and things like that for mm -hmm. giving them information on what to watch for, look for, whatever. Well, I think that would be a. a, a I hate to. Send them into the lion's den if there is a mm -hmm. negative part. The Farm Bureau would be a mm -hmm. good uh, mediator to give them information, something to get in the paper that, you know, anybody's got any questions that didn't. I was unaware that there was a <coughs> meeting out to Camden and maybe some of the landowners, then they can call the Farm Bureau and they get the information that they need because I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lastly, just so everyone's aware that. Uh, the Moving Ohio Forward grant, there was some, some issues of a house in um, Fostoria, and there, apparently the landowner said that, that the contractor damaged part of his house and part of his roof, and the contractor fixed something on the house, and he said, there's no way I could do anything on the roof. So my statement after talking with the um, uh, Mayor Keckler and so forth yesterday, I said at this point, sounds like it's a legal issue. If you don't like what's being done, you need to go and you sue the contractor. I don't believe the county's got anything to do with it because it's a uh, uh, kind of a, to me it's a between the landowner and the, and the whatever. But somehow the because it was a moving Ohio forward grant, we may if they elect to go that way, we may be brought into us. I thought it was important that you guys know. And then there were some issues with landscaping. That they didn't like how it was, and and uh, uh, Mayor Keckler is going to go there today, and I said he'll be the final decision on it if he thinks that the contractor landscaped and, and and abided by the contract, then it's a done deal. If he feels that that there still needs to be further uh, work needs to be done, then they have to go through regional planning. They'll have to notify the contractor and take care of it. But there there's some issues over there that the county. We may get yeah. brought into it at some point. Didn't Bree say that this that the contractor fixed the landscaping as the guy wanted, and then the guy changed his mind and he even fixed it again? It's something they wanted the swale in the land, and yeah. now the swale's not where they want. But the contract says to grade it back to a flat. So I don't care who wants a swale, who doesn't right. want a sale swale. That's why, in my opinion, is let the mayor look at it and. His opinion, in my mind, it would be the ultimate. If he says it's fine, it's fine. Forget the swale, whatever. It, if it's so, again, I, it, that's something we may get drug into. That we hopefully the, they can resolve it. Are we the? Is that our grant or is that the health department's grant? No, oh, that's ours. That's, that's us. Yeah, moving Ohio forward. Okay. The the one that there was two hundred and some thousand and came from the attorney general. Bob. Yeah, they yeah. tore down a bunch of houses and mm -hmm. blah 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 blah. So. Somehow that we may get kind of drawn into the thing, and I thought it was important that you guys know. Okay. Yeah. okay. But I just said if you got a problem, and and the contractor thinks it's fine, and you don't, then to me, you got to go through legal yeah. courses and. Oh. All right. Um, then we had down record keeping. With yeah. The old building on. Yeah, we've. Uh, there's been a couple individuals that recently, from what I understand, have, have uh, wanted to look at um, how we maintain our archival records and so forth and so on. And, and uh, um, as you can see, it's not the best situation. Uh, I know that, uh, according to Nikki, if, if they would come to us, that we can. I just think that long term we need to address how we handle records in this county. I know that when I was first elected and I had a sneak pre preview of every nook and cranny and closet and basement and, and it's just atrocious how we store records in this county and I think long term that even to the point that if money is available I think we need to start budgeting some money to somehow or other maintain the records I mean it it is kind of neat to go back and I know I find myself here and sometimes look at what happened in 1837 and that's kind of 
kind of neat and when you see how we store records and I guess there's a moisture issue when water right now we need to get our maintenance people out there and get stuff on shelves and, and build shelves and it looks like there uh, was there was some go back one if you can yeah But I do think long term. It, so it looks like there was some shelving for this purpose, but I'm sure it's just gotten full. What are those paintings? As I said, what are those? Oh, are? I have no idea what those are. I've never been on Former there. commissioners, probably. Pictures. No idea. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, but but I, I don't, I'm right now, we got, I guess there's some books that are down on the floor and there's some water damage and so forth. We me. need to take care of those she issues, but. But I think as, as budget time Oops. comes up here, that looks like a problem. I would like to somehow or other we start allocating some some sort of fund so we can maintain them better. Mm -hmm. I don't have the answer. Yeah, it's it's not an easy answer because we got so much stuff. You know, this building over here, at 81 Jefferson, is just chock full of stuff. That building's chock full of stuff. And I'm assuming the department the department said more often than other departments maybe have to go back and look things up for whatever purposes. Right. Do they have those or are they attempting to do the electronic? Um, I know I job and family seven. services went went full on electronic so they've been doing good a real job. good job, good job. Getting, <laughs> getting their records electronic and, and eliminating the paper. Um, when Mary Ward was here she was starting the electronic stuff. Scanning had a lot of it done her thing was she didn't want to get rid of the paper copy. She's got everything scanned, but she was afraid to get rid of the hard copy. So I don't know what Jean's going to mm -hmm. want to do with that. I'm sure she wants to check it make sure it's actually right. But that's one of the large storage at 81 Jefferson Street. And um, out to TB, it's basically the auditor, the treasurer, and uh, law library, which we're working with a new law librarian to get rid of some of those books. That is that are unneeded because they use pretty much computers nowadays. Um, we did have maintenance take uh, out some more of those shelves, and we're going to get Damon's books up off the floor. Um, we didn't realize it was an issue, so we got a quote for. Well, uh, whomever's carrying the stuff out there, and if they set it on the floor, they need to let maintenance know that shelves are full. We need more shelves. I mean, yeah. it didn't get like that overnight. I mean, that or there's an empty shelf because somebody pulled them off a shelf, yeah. but. Because when Damon needs to reference, he'll go out and get it and bring it back. He doesn't yeah. normally take people out there because yeah. it, it's, I mean, it's a storage building. So it, it's not idea. perfect, it's not pretty, but it's storage. Mm -hmm. um, now, a leaky roof is different. We've got a quote um, to fix that, and we're going to attempt to, we're going to submit it under the insurance because some tiles are missing off of the roof. And we're going to see if they'll accept it under the insurance claim when we had the big windstorm. Mm -hmm. Whether they take it or not, I don't know, but it's almost five thousand dollars to fix. There's three, three leaks in that in that roof. So we're gonna see what insurance will do. We have money in place again on the insurance purchase order to pay for it to get that moving. But we got shelves going out for David's area to get them off the ground. But um, I know Nikki and I sat and listened to a presentation from a company that will come in and actually take all of our records for us and do some scanning because it's. It's hard for departments to actually go back. I mean, we actually thought we could do it, but just trying to do our journals is, it's, it's very, very time see, consuming. See, that's my contention. I think it's, every department seems to be doing it yep. as best as they can on a haphazard basis. Yep. And I just wondered if we really start budgeting and, and make a concerted effort, because it, it's a monumental project. I, I understand that it. it just continues to grow and grow and grow, and at some point, we got to deal with it, right. and we may have to budget for it to look at it over a period of a three-year period or whatever. But I just, it, it just doesn't seem right to me. It, right. it seems to be there's got to be a better way, rather than more shelves. And shelves are fine, but yeah. rather than more shelves, I like to microfilm some of this stuff and get rid of the old. Yeah, books. yeah. He he's got some of those done, but again, in kind of like Mary, he didn't want to get rid of the. Uh, I don't remember what year he said. So he doesn't mind getting rid of the newer stuff, but some of the 1800 books, and he's got scanned, but... Because he, once you do, like that company Stace was talking about, our old journals that are handwritten, mm -hmm. with that system, anything that we type up, you can 
put a word in and it'll pull up all those documents okay. that have that word in it. But if it's handwritten, it doesn't. It can't do it. it, it yeah, it can't. What kind of cost? Oh, gotta be huge. Um, what yes. was that? I don't think it was really that. I'd have to. I, I, I didn't know there was places that did that. Oh yeah, but they'll come. They'll come and get all of our boxes. They'll take mm -hmm. it and do it, and they they'll even have a website for us to be able to oh, access. Yeah. Um, Are you talking ten thousand, a hundred thousand? Uh, was it thirty? Was it? But that was for all the county off if all the oh. county offices wanted to do it. And That's then it was a 30, per thirty thousand to get everything? And then it was a per after that a per box. They would charge yes. us an amount yes. per box to take that doesn't seem to me like it's that's all it that sounds and like there's a catch to it. Do I see. I'd like I see to, it's like, like there's no way. Yeah, I'd like, <laughs> I'd like, to, I'd like Sorry. to know. That was just me going yeah, somebody <laughs> it's all done that based. with them. And then if like the public wanted to search, they could set up a web-based one just for the public so like mm -hmm. Julie's stuff that she doesn't want you know she has to yeah. redact information <coughs> to protect people's things if they wanted to look up real estate stuff they could go type in her stuff and look all of it up or if they wanted to look at our journals instead of calling us and setting up a time or having me Stacy or time you look for it and then email them they could just go to this website click the journal number go to that page and find what they're looking for mm -hmm. that was a big project that we just started getting trying to look up again um, just because he came in and said hey can you listen to this presentation yeah it's just I mean I don't know records have been and it's one of those things problem. that we yeah there'd be a lot of questions to ask about oh, yeah. that and it other counties have done it and how it worked and turnaround time and as well as every department's going to need to utilize it if you're paying for it for a lump sum as well as I have the access to mm -hmm. versus some going to go no I like Mary I mean she you know wanted to keep the hard copy too what we, if we're both we're still going to have that problem yeah. you know mm -hmm. I mean we're not going to yeah yeah and, and maybe Jean will look at it different since she's come in and different but that got that way of somebody just plopping things down and leaving it go yeah that yeah they just should have indicated we're out of shelving or yeah. i've yeah. not been in that tbs but i guess it's square full right i mean it's yeah. everywhere yeah. that's what that 18 okay. told me yeah and uh, and i think they usually just call me and say hey i gotta get these books out here and damon said he's got a bunch here that He's getting full up, yeah. to, up, up town and needs more going out there. And I said, well, maybe these help, shelves will help. I, we didn't know. Um, we'll get you what we can on a temporary basis because they just made those shelves out of wood that we had had. That's not an easy answer. Can we, but we'll can get the we roof fixed. We'll get the roof fixed. Really? I mean, yeah, that's temporary, and, I, and I'm fine with that. Can we really investigate this and maybe get it in? I mean... Yeah. of this archival thing and then look at next year's budget I mean in the meantime yeah. I mean I think there's there's merit to this because it's a it ain't gonna get any better yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll call him having do a present presentation for the board and why well, ask him what are the counties he's the yeah. references they've yeah. done this yeah 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 and, and what are other counties maybe before you type alone. come in uh -huh. I don't know what yeah, he think. said um, when we met with him that he had done schools um, a few different counties and um, maybe just some different governmental agencies that wanted to do it by themselves because they're, I mean, it could just be our office that uses it or it could be the whole county, you know. So there's some counties that only the commissioners or the auditor or whatever use their system. Do we Mary's have the, got her do we own. Have the authority? Job family has their own. Do we have the authority to turn around and say we want all counties? All departments in a county to do it i mean i doubt it I, yeah. I doubt i'm sure that there would be a lot of people on board but like stay said mary ward has hers job and family has theirs and they've already paid for that so yeah. and they're actually them. getting rid of their paper so right that, yeah. whereas well that's and that's the thing it, it, it takes getting rid of the paper you're still going to have the hard yeah. copies and yeah. you're still going to have the storage issue right they certainly aren't going to no do sense. it if we aren't getting rid of paper right yeah, yeah. No since paying for the if, if we have a presentation, maybe we could invite a couple of the key people, you know, Gene and 
probate court. I'm sure they got a bunch of garbage over at probate court. All yeah. those. I think they've done them a good job over there. Uh, Judge Kucher before kept a lot of stuff that maybe wasn't. He just wanted to keep it. And mm -hmm. I think when Judge Meyer came in, they they reevaluated their. It just seems haphazard to me. Different departments yep. doing different things, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and it all falls on our yeah. shoulders to, to store maintain it. the yeah. thing and store it. And, and I, so, yeah, I don't have the answer. I mean, that, I didn't yeah. know that people did that, but I would strongly suggest that we would investigate that, not for this year, right. but to get it in for next year so we can do it properly and budget it. And well, they have to come do a presentation, see if it's even more feasible. Good. Yeah. Yeah. But the 30,000, I'm thinking like you, I'm thinking hundreds there's a catch, of thousands. Yeah, yeah there's got to be a catch to it. Because yeah, I think a previous board, I don't think you were even here then, when they talked about they were going to put another building, another building, a new building, to put storage and get rid of the 81 mm -hmm. Jefferson and getting rid of the TB Hospital and building a new, and that didn't go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Like we need another building. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I just. All right. Any other business <coughs> we need at this time from anyone? Okay. And it's past that time. Sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't even flip this over in time for it. Um, okay, you've got an RFP for us. We only got She's one. Got you got it. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Request for proposal. Yeah, for the transportation services. <coughs> Is that on family services? Oh, this isn't. The, this isn't just putting out the request for for proposals. They've already. Yep. They have them. Yep. Yeah. It's they a have. sealed for that part too. Yeah. Okay. And they have all sorts of different numbers, so it's not like a bid that I can I can pull a number from. Basically, they they get the proposals and job and family will go through them. Um, okay. So but we have to it sealed until the time. So we just open it. And who is it from? Uh, Scat. Scat. Okay. And that's the only one we got. So. They'll take it and review it. Do you want us to take it? You don't need it. You can have it. Okay. <laughs> don't lose it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, There's we'll no electronic it. record of that document. <laughs> <laughs> we'll image it. <laughs> they'll scan it and they'll have it. Thank you. All right, citizens' comments. At this time, do we have any citizen comments? Thank you. Any comments? A uh, question on the on the uh, wind wind things. I've read fairly recently about eagles, bald eagles, um, being um, done away with because of the wind farm thing. And I wonder if that uh, has been investigated at all, because I know there are a number of bald eagle nests in Seneca County. I, I don't know how much or how many. I'm, I'm not the environmental person who knows any of those kinds of things, but I, I just am aware that it is a problem. I would assume that's part of their environmental yeah. work when they've identified these areas. The if big one they know was uh, the where Indiana the, bats. And, uh, yeah. That was a big one with the wind farms. We they had found two some Indiana bats Indiana. in Crawford County. Yeah. So yeah, that was a big one. I had. So I suppose they have ways that they have to. That'll be one of those things when these guys come around and talk to us, so we can ask. But I'm sure their environmental takes into account that uh, locations of read, where these are known. The thing I read is is that the wind farms have not been forced to pay uh, federal penalties like the common person would if they did away with a bald eagle. You know, and, and um, that part bothered me. Um, well, that's why I said I would think their environmental says they can't put them like right next to where there's a known number of nests or something. I don't know how that all works and, and whether it is or isn't because it's not endangered anymore. Is that correct? I don't know. I don't know. But that, we'll have to yeah, ask them. I don't know. Work connections right here in town used to microfilm. I don't know if they still do or not. They're over. No Sterling. The old GE over in that area. ITT. Yeah. So, yeah, I know they did that. Yeah. They did it for the county years ago. I, I don't know. That would be a good, uh, we'll keep the money local here. Yeah, and I don't know if they still do. but. Uh. I think they had quit doing it for a while, but actually I do think I heard somebody say they might be doing it again. 
I'll have to check. That's a good point, Tom. Okay. All right. Anything else? Just um, tomorrow is our stakeholders meeting for the Route 53 project where they will be unveiled. I think maybe I mentioned that the other day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. Didn't get in the papers, so I'll say it today. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have as good a reporter. We weren't as good enough. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> but that's uh, that's tomorrow over to Fremont. I'm extremely pleased that we're going to have a full house from Seneca County is going to be there. The sheriff, uh, uh, David Zach, the mayor, the city engineer, the county engineer. Everybody uh, that was on the committee will be there as they unveil the uh, their proposal. Um, what it is? I think. Have you commissioners when received it yet? Nikki sent me something that said I got to get on the W Drive. I don't even know what a W Drive it's is. Off so I just <laughs> Wagner Drive. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you guys want hard copies of it? Just the just the part that affects Seneca County. I don't need the maps or the diagrams. Just the the, it, it doesn't have to be printed. You can, you can save it on his desktop. That way you can just click on it. Yeah, somehow I can bring it up on my computer. That's fine. But I don't know how to get it. Just take times. a copy of what I she. I couldn't get into it either. Uh -huh. And she printed the whole everything off. There's one book. And it's not that many. It's maybe 20 pages. Yeah, that's all. I need. Yeah, and uh, just I'll take a copy of that so you can get that. It, okay. it really it lists each not each mile marker on the road, but uh -huh segments of the road and what in at a at a high level high level is the recommendations that they're suggesting is Seneca County is about 3.3 million uh, Sandusky County is about 2 million uh, Wyandotte County was a couple hundred thousand of the suggestions that they uh, there is. yeah so okay all right that's all we have for the go to the order. Oh, oh. Yeah. I just happened to think of something. If you get that stone or ground up gravel on that driveway out there, if uh, Mark had a roller to roll that down, that would really make it nice. I don't if, think he'll do that. Yeah. Well, I know, but I just. Yeah. So the direction we let her, we're going to see if we can contract with, with Pat Mack to go ahead and tail, you know, tailgate this stuff out there. We'll load it on with our equipment. I mean, that a couple, two, three hours could take care of that. And I agree with you. Boy, if we could, I mean, we may try to twist Pat marks on or not, But he may very well. I'm okay. sure for a little money he'd probably do that. Uh, Tanya's going to catch Tia to see if she knew anybody. That yeah, it's just, it's okay. terrible. I mean, I, I, sh I should have thought of it. The one that, where they're dumping out there, they could have just tailgated it out there. Yeah, but they did, they came back with $7 a, a ton when they were dumping it, and that was yes. yeah, $6,300. Tell something. them we won't charge them to store it. <laughs> we won't charge them to go back to our cemetery. Yeah, we subtract the storage fee. It's only a dollar. There you go. All right. If, if you want a story, Cindy Beasel's retiring from the uh, sheriff's office. We got a little thing at 11.30 for her. Oh, that's right. It is today, isn't it? Yeah. 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 All right. Motion to adjourn. I make a motion. Second. Motion and second. We adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 We stand adjourned. 10.58. Thank you.